Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the 2018 World Cup in Paris 2018. We're live from the Kazan Arena. It is a beautiful Saturday afternoon. Sunny weather, warm weather and we're getting ready for a hot match in this uh, first knockout round. France against Argentina. And now a moment for the national anthems. And here are the starting lineups. France with uh, Captain Loris in goal, Ntiti, Varane, Hernandez, and Sidibe in defense. Counter Pogba and Tolisso in the midfield, Dembele, Mbappe, and Griezmann in attack. Argentina with Armani in goal, Rojo, Otamendi, Tala, Pico, and Mercado in defense, Mascherano and Benega defensive midfield. There's Di Maria, Pavone, and uh, Captain Messi and Higuain in attack. And France is getting us on the way in this round of 16 match. So, the situation of these two teams in the group stage. We'll start with Argentina because it has been absolutely dramatic. It's all been decided in the final match against Nigeria. The Africans really put up a great fight against them, but still the South American side prevailed it was Messi that uh, took the first step in helping Argentina reach this stage he scored that goal and coming off to two matches after which he's been heavily criticized for his poor performances but then Moses his penalty got the team's level and quite a few minutes of very very high tension follow because at that scoreline Nigeria was finishing second and Argentina was going back home Rojo in the final few minutes with the winning goal they got the first three points and uh, they went through from the second position in that group France one of the more disappointing sides at this World Cup not a serious performer in group C a 2-1 win against Australia in the first match, two penalties in that match and an own goal. Then only a 1-0 win against Peru and a goal was drawn in the final match against uh, Denmark. So, we'll have to see. We might be tempted to say that Argentina are favourites in this one, but uh, they had some serious problems in the group stage. And it's interesting because exactly a month ago, May 26th, my full World Cup simulation. This uh, was also a fixture set up for the round of 16. So really, really amazing stuff how the game predicted this exactly a month ago. But now I uh, am doing this, simulating the real life match because I have the complete squads now and it's much more immersive having everything done correctly. Here's Argentina trying to attack Sidibe with a header. The ball is out for a throw in to the South Americans. Benega to Di Maria on the left side. 
Nice dribbling there and across towards Higuain. Spawned away by Lloris and Hernandez gets the ball under control. Griezmann receiving, passing it to Tolisso. Now Griezmann again. Sidibe. An interesting look at pass towards Bappe. Armani off his line and retaining that one. Towards Iguain, he heads it to Mascherano. Now De Maria receiving. Talifico to Iguain, they quickly try to get it to Messi. Talifico getting the ball. Continuing the run there, a chip pass to Mascherano and his header. Doesn't really bother Loris. Mascherano, Varane is there, gets the ball in front of also club rival Messi. Bappe to Kante, Pogba. This pass was sort of cut it off, more like deflected, and now Argentina in attack. Mercado receiving on the right side. Oh, great trick there, it's a cross. No one getting a touch on it. French are getting it away from danger. And uh, we've almost reached the end of the first half. That pass will not reach Dembele. And that's the end of the first 45. A balanced match until now. Both teams looking all right. But they'll have to try and get more creative in the second half. We're live again from the Kazan Arena for the round of 16 match at the 2018 World Cup France against Argentina. Goalless at the break. And the South American side started this second half by attacking. Higuain trying to dribble there. Can't take the ball back for France. Now Tolisso to Pogba. Hernandez. Dembele. Griezmann receiving. Getting it back to him. A good idea with this pass. Dembele could cross it in. Tries to do so. Mercado deflects on it for a moment. Another cross towards Griezmann and well defended. Look at the way they got it to Messi, but he's been dispossessed. Bappe with a cheeky pass to Griezmann. Doesn't reach the end of it and it's out for an Argentinian goal kick. It's a short pass play to Otamendi. Pavon to Messi. Now Mercado. A long one towards Iguain. Goalkeeper hesitating there, but uh, Sediba doing very well to dispossess Iguain. To listen to something that pass. Baran to Titi. Pogba to Hernandez. Dembele, back to defend there, gets the ball back from him. Kante, Griezmann to Kante. Dembele, cutting through the fence with that pass, Hernandez turns around, there's a cross, and Talofico heads it away. Sidibe, another cross, and this time the goalkeeper grabs the hold of the ball. with uh, a bit more possession in the, the second half at least until now Argentina should uh, try to be more careful and find more for possession giving the ball away quite a few times in the midfield it happened again and France attacking now Mbappe with the ball to pass to Pogba to Lusso. Cross Mbappe with the header, it's saved by the goalkeeper. It's going to be a goal kick only. They avoided the corner kick there. Let's have another look at this. 
very good cross and also very very good save by Armani and looked like a good header difficult to parry it and we now enter the final 20 minutes as you know if uh, it will remain goalless at the end of the 90 minutes extra time will follow and that is the case interesting enough in my previous video a month ago let's see if the same will happen in the simulation of uh, the real life match great tackle there ball to Messi cutting off the pass we get the ball to Messi now we go in to Di Maria back to Higuain what can they make of this Talia Fico puts it across Messi with the head out of that attack and he chosen his food there I'm sure they would have got a much better result final 10 minutes France is attacking Mbappe with a pass to Sidibe shifts it to Griezmann across it was slightly deflected and they managed to clear the way but France back in possession Otamendi Messi, now we go in. Dancing in front of him, Messi doesn't pass it yet, only now. And it wasn't too bad of an idea, but you really can't uh, make Messi shine with those kind of passes. Time is ticking away. France trying to get a late winner. change it's made by France Bappe is replaced by Tovon interesting enough Salvi replacing Pavon for Argentina maybe a couple of changes for the upcoming two halves of extra time because it's goalless at the end of the 90 minutes so here we are this starts of the two halves of extra time in the round of 16 match between France and Argentina, the 2018 World Cup in Russia. Oh, that's a foul. Might see a booking here as well. Goes straight for the card and shows it to Otamendi. Didn't really get to see the tackle. Let's see. Oh, definitely. No doubt about it. That's a foul indeed. And an opportunity for Griezmann. Could take the shot from there. Goes for it, deflected by the wall, and the goalkeeper barely managing to keep it out. It was going right on the crossbar. It would have been a corner kick anyway because it's been deflected by the wall. And for now, he avoided the goal. Griezmann is also going to take this corner kick. There's a delivery. Oh my goodness, what a goal! Did you catch that? Pogba with an absolutely splendid goal. You have to wait for the replay because I'm not sure even on the stadium how many people managed to see that. Look at this. It was deflected and a little flick there, gets a touch on it. Look at that. A backhill goal. Incredible. Incredible way to put France in the lead. There still is uh, time left for Argentina. Griezmann disp dispossessing Banega. Now Dembele. The pass back to the defender Hernandez. Pogba to Dembele. Tolisso, Conte, to Tolisso, Hernandez, Dembele, advancing on the left side, across towards Griezmann, and his shot is saved by Amani. Really did well to uh, 
keep it 1 0. They still have chances at this scoreline. To Mendy, to Salvio, pass to Mercado. Not, so it didn't really look like a very good pass, but Higuain managed to get to the end of the fade. Mercado with a cross towards Messi, it's been headed away. Salvio should take the shot, it's a pass to Mascherano, and he's been blocked. Tovan. He's going back to Griezmann, Rojo's there, plays it away. This should be the end of the first half, extra time indeed. 1-0 for France at the short break. So here we are, France is leading as we're going into the second half of extra time. Only 15 minutes left, but keep in mind that Argentina got the winning goal in their final group stage match against Nigeria in the 87th minute. So they might try to force another late goal this time. It would be an equaliser, but enough to keep them alive and take them to the penalty shootout. Griezmann with the ball, Banega trying to dispossess him. It's a poor pass, Mercado. And a pass out to Mendy. Doing well this time, Banega to get it to Messi, was under pressure by Griezmann. Higuain tries to pass it back, but he had options to his left and right. Now France on the counter attack, Lemar to Pogba. Tried to get past Rojo, but he's defended very well. Five minutes left. Acuna to Higuain. Oh, a great pass to Salvio, it seems so, but uh, he has been offside. Oh, indeed. A shame, because it might have led it to a goal, this action. Another change, it's made by Argentina. Messi is replaced by Dybala, and Ansaldi is replacing Mercado. Two risky changes, but um, they're trying to get a goal here. This man getting rid of that pass, but uh, managed to keep it for France. Only one minute left. France are so close to reaching the quarterfinals. Griezmann with the ball. Keeping it there to waste time, and that is it. 1 0 win for France. The result of this past 2018 simulation. We'll have to see what will happen in real life. I'm sure it'll be a great match nonetheless. Thank you for watching this video and make sure to also check out Croatia against Denmark.